how long does it take to become a good artist? What does that even mean? Is it someone like David Hockney who sells their work for millions and gets displayed in galleries? Or is it more like John Park who paints concepts for shows like The Mandalorian? Maybe, instead, we should ask, how long does it take to become good at painting and drawing? But what does that mean? Is it the ability to accurately capture reality as it appears before us? Or to imagine totally make-believe worlds and allow other people to experience what we have in our mind's eye by putting it down on canvas? Is it genetic? Are some people just born able to draw, able to paint, able to do this? Or is this a learned skill that anybody can become proficient at? I want to get really good at drawing and painting, and I want to get there as fast as possible. And you probably do too, but clearly it's going to take many, many hours of hard and diligent training. Let me start by making one thing perfectly clear. Despite the name of this channel, I do not believe in the 10,000 hour rule. In fact, it's already been debunked a bunch of times. You've never heard of the 10,000 hour rule. This is a concept coined by Canadian journalist and author Malcolm Gladwell in his 2008 book Outliers, where he states that in order to master a specific skill, it takes 10,000 hours of specific practice. You might be playing the cello, or juggling, or learning to draw and paint, but while doing something for 10k will clearly make you good at it, you'll probably achieve an above average level of competency far before hitting 10k. Now there are examples of individuals in the field of art who have applied this rule and gotten very very good at drawing and painting. The artist Tom Fox got to the level he did by just applying this rule, and it worked for him. His work's amazing, but I think he overemphasizes the amount of time he spent and does not emphasize enough what he spent that time specifically doing. What does spending 10k learning to draw even look like? What do you practice? Are there drills? Are there specific exercises that you need to do? Do you just spend as much time as possible drawing from your imagination? Or should you use reference? How specific do you have to get to training any one aspect like line weight or perspective? Are we better off to spend 10k drawing just figures and totally forgetting about landscapes? Or should we incorporate lots of subject matter? Can we learn a more abstracted skill set which we can apply to drawing both figures and landscapes in an improved way? I've already spent a lot of time drawing in my life, and to be honest, I'm not that good. I'm nowhere near the level of Tom Fox, and it's quite simply because I've just practiced the wrong stuff. I've spent 10,000 hours just doodling and not studying specific skill pillars to improve on, and when you do that, you waste the majority of the 10k. You could streamline things, you can make them more efficient. It's like going to the gym with no goal, no understanding of reps or sets or muscle groups, what pushing does, what pulling does, and just haphazardly using whatever equipment you feel like on the day for a short while. You're going to get some benefit, but it's going to be nothing compared to an athlete who goes to the gym to train with their coach. So, if you train properly, then becoming a decent artist, whatever that looks like to you personally, should take way less than 10k if you train in a very informed and structured way. But if it doesn't take 10k, then how long does it take? That's what I'm going to try and find out here. I'm going to be trying to figure out what a good training regimen looks like, looking at applying different learning and mental models to speed things up if possible. Things like Spaced Repetition, The Disc System by Tim Ferriss, as well as advice by celebrated artists like Kim Jong-gi, who learned to draw by just sketching what was in front of him, or things that he wanted to buy in extreme detail. However, I will be applying these concepts I just mentioned to reduce and streamline the 10k across an entire 10k time period, much like Tom Fox did. That is, instead of seeing if 10k makes me good, I'm going to be seeing how good I can get in 10k and working to grow as efficiently as possible. So this is going to be a long ride. I'll be tracking my training in real time to see what I can improve on, how long it takes to reach a particular level of decency and what I call skill pillars. These are the five very broad categories of drawing and painting skill that I feel best sum up what it is that illustrators and designers and artists are actually highly skilled at. If we were all Olympic athletes, this represents not the specific sport related skills like throwing a baseball or doing a deadlift, but the more abstract things that apply to every athlete, such as cardiovascular strength, hand-eye coordination and flexibility. The drawing painting equivalent of these abstracted skills, fortunately, has already been worked out for us, and I'll discuss what these are in the next video. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, maybe you too are a developing artist who wants to get as good as possible, as fast as possible, feel free to join me next time and follow along in this experiment.